Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, to answer a question that I got uh, through email about committed memory in the task manager. So we, um, of course, have information about the RAM memory and all of that in the task manager, which is very useful to see, um, you know, how much memory our programs are using. Do we have enough RAM to run on a PC? So when you go to the performance tab, uh, you will see that you can go and click memory. Memory will give you a rough idea of how much RAM is being used at any given time. There's a graph, there's information about it. And typically, if you are not using much more than 60, 70 percent, you should be OK. In the case where you would actually run into memory that is much higher, uh, don't go and get optimizers. They're useless. What you need to do is simply increase the amount of RAM memory in your computer. Now, the question is, why is it? So, for example, you see on the upper, upper right corner, 16 gigabytes is the amount of RAM that I have on this machine. But the question is, why does it say committed 17.8 gigabytes? So I've got 9 out of 17.8. Well, part of the number you see here on 17.8, and that number, by the way, can be different from machine to machine, and uh, depending on the amount of RAM and what you're doing, um, part of it is simply virtual memory created by applications or page file system on, the, on the, the hard drive that show up here as added memory. It is added because if it is used, it will say that you're using it. And for example, you would have, you know, 17 gigabytes and you would say, well, I got only 16. Yeah, it's simply because virtual memory is being used. Uh, virtual memory is kind of not real memory. It's really just something that is created somewhere in case it needs the, uh, the extra place. And like I said, most of the time, that extra memory is mostly done on the hard drive as a space that could be used just in case the, uh, a, a, a cer certain software, certain drivers will need it. So it's normal for the committed memory to be higher than the uh, cached, than the, uh, sorry, the, uh, the standard memory. And for the second question of why is my memory usage, um, the number of, for the RAM, the official RAM that I have is 16 gigabytes, but it says 15.4 gigabytes is available. It's simple because your hardware requires to have some part of RAM memory to be actually uh, aside just for its own use. So in general, the hardware will require part of the RAM before the rest of the RAM is used by your computer with Windows, with the software, and so on. And usually that actually will grow. So the more RAM you'll have, the more that um, amount will be big. So that 15.4 that you see here, if you have 32, will be higher. Um, and it's simply set aside for the different drivers, for the different hardware, because it needs some space and some RAM to actually be used. So hope this answers the question about RAM in the task manager, and especially where why is it that committed RAM is higher than the, the RAM you actually have installed? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.